abundance that lurk in the highlands. I'm looking for men from Undvik. You have oars from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a rest. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. Uh, a lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Me or excellent Tartarog. He's over there. What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Undvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Yalmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrate fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind, Dan Dyer. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other isles. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing. Before we could drive them off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Oi! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! Plain to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a whelp looking to collect bumps on his skull can only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zerakinian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. Need to get to Undvik. Another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close. Lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them's shorter. Just below the surface, so careful not to scrape right over them. Big breach your hull, you're done for. Cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Uh, oh, fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course. Dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Jalmar landed. Nice talking to you, but time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you.
plan on great. I long to be home to the modest of those corners I roam to my dumb with his pipe to my tears to the alcohol wherein I lie strength And my blood's I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> My jar. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died.
Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know, don't ask. Food suits me. Suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, dammit. You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. I had her starved to death. And I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping them build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise, won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Who were these men? My crew. They swore never to leave me. Kept their word. Tall one's Wilmar. Wilfred's to his right. And the lad with the stutter's Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all. Like he did the others. I'm looking for Hjalmar on crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew, aimed to defeat the giant. I saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor shape they were in. Leaf the red, fallen, viggy. And just between you and me, that boy is not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on crate was here too. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crate was here with his men. Oh, that? No, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed? Did they, Wilmar? Oh, I aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, garden, absolutely nothing. Thanks for your help. Take care. I should go. Fare you well. It's clearing up. Yalmar's encampment. They were attacked. Many wounds. Must have fought for a long time. Fought barefoot. Sirens caught them by surprise. Scavengers got to this one. Sirens. Severed artery. Bled to death in seconds. Fought barefoot. Sirens caught them by surprise.
didn't even manage to draw his sword. broken back, as if he fell from a height. Taken by surprise, but they fought off the attack. I need more clues. Search the perimeter. Several men dragged a boat north. Two people came through here, separately. These tracks are older. Somebody left the camp before the attack. It smack in a necker's lair and cut the beast down. Hardy folk, these skelligers. Went this way. One arrow in each. Good eye. Another track. Someone used this as cover. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. Archer finally caught up to him. Now where'd that archer go? The horn to drive away the sirens might come in handy. Trolls dragged him into the cave. Wonder if he's still alive. Archer was wounded too.
Hmm, something cooking over there. something I take him with me. If I lose, I'll jump in the pot too. Good! Good! Climb <laughs> riddles! No! No bubble! First riddle. Not eat, not drink. Big he be. Step big he. Big he bash. A troll, of course. Uh, good troll. Now you ask. I'm light as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. Piss! Hard, human cheat. I won fair and square. Uh, stupid riddle. Feather. Troll not old. Not this. Uh, can you walk? Uh, I. Uh, I'll manage. Uh, let's get out of here. You all right? Ugh. Never go in a sauna again, long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself, him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Yalmar? Croc sent me here to find Yalmar. New king will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young on Crate's return. So it started already? Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible, stubborn, and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him and Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... Like father, like daughter. What about Crack? He support her? He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled. Especially since Ceres set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og. And no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmar'd only... Has she come back, do you know? Yeah, she's back. Did what she set out to do, too. 
Thank the gods. The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads. With a hearty storm, sail whipped about like a rag, finally caught sight of shore. But then sirens attacked, as if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it, if not for the bloody helmsman. You smashed into the rocks. What then? Lost a few men. Had to drag the wounded on litters. And the sirens pestered us the whole while. Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside and he brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day, it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship. Then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had to watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Faro steal Yalmar's hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me in a marinade instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair. In the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling. Good. Let's go. Yalmar's man bled to death while trying to escape. Wonder what happened to his cohorts. Signs of a battle. They fought the giant here. They ran toward the caves. Someone tripped and fell, but managed to get away.
Hmm. Definitely came through here. Giant tried to get inside. Looks like he gave up. flying. Went this way. Sliced her up. Two men, looks like. Yalmar lost a lot of men here. Arvid and Tordorach. He was dead set on coming with us. Shot half a quiver into her.
Oh, gods. Near twenty of them. But no Yalmar. Need to find another way. Fallen! I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Speakerog. Alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Ceres? She staked a claim to the throne then? And you'd have rather gone with her? I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait! Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. 
You know me? Our bards sing ballads about you. My father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. <laughs> I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a skellige lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. Where's the rest of your crew? Good question. Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after the battle on the lake. Good thing you showed up when you did. Cause Leif's wounds need tending. Those bitches tore him up good. But I suppose if it had all gone smoothly, it would have made for a dreadfully short ballad about our heroic adventure. Seems more doomed than heroic to me. No. That's just the gods looking to see what metal we're made of. They'll soon get their answer. <laughs> Your father sent me to find you. I have a giant to defeat. Head home soon as I've done that. Gotta help Leif first. Leif's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. Bled to death. Was to be his last voyage. Hurry now! Pick up the pace! See your rare to go? Telling you, plow an enormous horse, son. He is wonderful. Can't believe I finally got the bastard. Yeah. Geralt, help me smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! I'll cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. now. One odd step and you could wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrit? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Let's free him. Giant's pretty big, looks pretty mean. We could use an extra blade. Even one swung by a madman? I heard that on crit! Let me out right now! Wait here. I'll look for the key. Let me out, quick! Shut your trap. I 
Thanks, brother. I remember that. Let's get out of here. Uh, right. Just as soon as I kill him. I knew we'd best him. <sighs> Viggy, you daft bastard. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Yalmar the Giant Slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Hmm. Believe you're right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Want to look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. Gonna head back to Hard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres. Islanders will see it as a great victory. Cause Skellig is the victor. Whereas I've lost my friends. I've them to thank for making me a leader. They believed in me. And Ceres? She back yet? Yeah, 
And she did what she set out to do on Speaker Og. She always liked competing with me. Except so far, I've always won. Well, time I was on my way. So long, Geralt. Thanks for your help. So long, Uncrate. things. You and Ciri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye. Spent half her childhood in the Isles. Always at my heels she was. Scrawny wee thing. But her leaps on ice skates. Why, none of us could rival them. Tried to outdo her once. Smashed me mouth on a rock. And then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? Aye. We had twelve winters on us, both. Any thought of continuing that romance? Me da whipped it out of me head. <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. Got another voyage in mind? Of course. Ice Giant was just the beginning. Besides, I got all kinds of horse sons already saying he wasn't that big. What about the folk of Undvik? You and your men were gonna help them return to their isle and rebuild Urskar. Ceres will take care of that. Farewell, Uncrate. <laughs> 